welcome back. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we are going over the new Chanel Rouge Allure Locks. And I do already have a first impressions video up of the first two shades that I ordered, but my other two, which were originally lost in the mail, they, they have arrived. And so I will have all four of those to swatch for you. We'll do lip and arm swatches. And I'm also gonna compare this formula to the new Suku liquid lipsticks. So they have a fog and a glow formula, and I will show you what both of the finishes look like on my lips so you can kind of get an idea of some of the similarities in formulation. And we'll talk about longevity, wear time, and so forth. And then I will also include a wear test of the Chanel Lux today. On my lips right now, I have the shade number 63 Ultimate, and this is pretty much what the finish looks like. So you can see it is a, a subtle satin. So when you read the description on these, Chanel says it's a liquid lipstick that combines ultra intense color with long wearing satin shine in one swipe. They have two types of polymers, preserve color intensity and help lock in hydration. It's water resistant, lasts up to 12 hours and lips feel comfortable for up to eight hours. So they have 20 shades in their line, which I feel is pretty extensive. There's 0.18 ounces in each of these locks and these are made in France. There's a shelf life of 18 months. These retail for $40 in the US and that equates to about $222 per ounce. So in comparison, the Suku liquid lipsticks, the Fog and the Glow formulas are $39 approximately at Selfridges and they are 0.223 ounces, and that equates to $175 an ounce. So these are going to be slightly less expensive, and these are made in Japan. Now, let's start off with swatches of all four shades on my hands, and we'll move to lip swatches. Okay, we are gonna be starting with number 63, Ultimate. And again, this is what I have on my lips. So it has a doe foot applicator. And you can see that one swipe gives pretty sheer coverage, but if you let this first layer dry and then you apply a second layer, it becomes more opaque, which is what I have on my lips. And we'll look more at the level of sheerness when we apply it to the lips. Next up, we have 64 Exigence. And just so you know, these do have a fragrance to them. There is a faint scent. And you can also smell a little bit of an alcohol scent to it as well. And I feel like that's pretty common with lip products that have more of this vinyl texture to them. Next, we have number 70, Immobile. And this is a bright, shocking pink. And last up, this is number 71, Myth. And this is a red metallic shade. And you can see, you can definitely get this very sheer. If you wanted to build that up a bit though, you would see more of the metallic. We'll have to do that on the lips. 63 Ultimate. Sixty four exigence.
70 and mobile. Seventy one myth. see the metallic finish on this. For comparison, we're going to look at the Suku. This is the lip glow in shade 101. That's one layer just on the bottom there. And then the Suku Lip Fog in 103. I just applied the Chanel lip liner in number 172, Bois de Rose. And I think this shade here is a really good match with Exigence here. So I applied Exigence, two coats of that on top. And for the lip liner, I basically just did the outline. I didn't color in the whole lips. And this is what we are going to use for our wear test. So this is our baseline now. It has now been five and a half hours since I applied the Chanel Rouge Lure Lock. And this is how it has worn. Now I haven't been drinking a lot today, but I did you know, have lunch and this is basically what it looked like right after lunch. And it has worn the same since that time. So let me bring you in closer so you can take a closer look. So this is how it has worn. You can see the darker line around my lips. That's from the lip pencil. And then everything that has been filled in with the lock has faded pretty evenly throughout. I don't really have, you know, um, much of the texture left anymore, but it doesn't feel like my lips don't have anything on either. So I still feel a little bit. It's not dried down like a, a matte would, but yeah, more like, you know, a lipstick that has worn off. So can definitely feel, still feel something on there. It's not drying, but everything has faded. So that's it. All right. It has been eight hours now and I haven't had anything else to eat. Um, not really much to drink either. I'm, I know I'm not, not good today, but anyway, uh, let me bring you in closer and show you how it has worn. 
So this is how it looks after eight hours. And this would be, you know, when you're pretty much not doing anything. So if you are eating and drinking normally during the day, it's gonna look more faded than this at this time. But I didn't have very much today and this is how it has held up. So you can see I still have the lip liner around the edges and the rest of it has really faded quite a bit. It's still pretty similar to the last check-in. It's faded a little bit more, but you know, that's basically it. Now I do like, I don't feel anything on my lips now. Like I can feel like there's like a stain or residue on my lips, but nothing like it feels like I have like a lip product on per se. So I, I definitely don't feel like any creaminess or anything anymore. I'm itching to put on chapstick. It's not drying to my lips, but I do always like having something emollient on my lips. So, you know, right now it just feels like I have nothing on, but something left over. Now let's discuss the Rouge Alert locks. So I have been wearing them quite a bit for, I don't even know, what has it been, two weeks or so now since I received my first two. And I really like the formula. I think the biggest thing that Chanel has going for it with these is the shade range. There are 20 shades. And I think that's a really good start to the line. And they really did a great job ranging from lighter nude shades to reds, and they have cooler and warmer tones in there. So I think it's a really good mix. Now, these are the swatches again. So this is a number 63 Ultimate, 64 Exigence, 70 Immobile, and 71 Myth, which is metallic. This one you can see straight away that this one has the sheerest formula. And if you really want to have a true red metallic lip, you need to build this up with several layers. This is the Suku Lip Glow in 101 and the Lip Fog from Suku in 103. And I wanted to show you the difference between the formulas here uh, with how they appear in the lips. So the Rouge Alert Locks, obviously they are a much more sheer product. So if you want just really sheer lightweight shade, do one swipe and that's going to give you a sheer look. Most of the time, I think, you know, on average, I will be using two coats because I think that gives the perfect amount of balance between sheerness and opacity. But the Suku products, they are much more pigmented on the first swipe. The formula itself is also a little bit thicker, creamier on the lips, which, you know, obviously does help with the pigmentation then as well. Now, as for the actual finish, the lip glows are supposed to be more of a high shine product and the lip fogs are more of a creamy matte. They actually call it a foggy finish. And there are seven shades in the glow and seven shades in the matte that are permanent. So far, it's a new line, but they have released several limited edition shades. Actually, both of these are some of the limited edition ones that have been released. But I think the finish on your lips, after the Chanel kind of wears for a couple of minutes, you can see here, I really think that the finish is kind of in between the glow and the fog from Suku. It's kind of like a hybrid. It's a satin finish, but it's definitely not a high shine satin finish unless you add several layers. So you can definitely get it shiny, but after you have been wearing it for a while, I feel like the shine decreases so that it becomes a true satin finish. Now onto the actual products. As I mentioned in the beginning, the Suku Lip Fog and Lip Glow products are a little bit less expensive than the Chanel. However, the Chanel's more widely available. Unless you, you know, purchase from Selfridges or Harrods or Cult Beauty, if you live in the US, you know, the Suku lip products are not readily available. They do not have a US retailer. Whereas Chanel, you know, they're pretty much available worldwide. They are coming out with different release dates, so they are not currently available in some places, but they will be available everywhere at, you know, at some point. So I think Chanel definitely has a plus with the availability as well as the color range, because I feel like Chanel did a better job of incorporating warmer and cooler tones throughout the entire you know, spectrum. Whereas the Suku 
ones. They've come out with some great limited edition shades and so forth, but I feel like a lot of their permanent shades, if you are going with the more, the, the lighter, more nude type shades, they lean a lot warmer and they don't have quite as many cool shades in the lighter range. They do with the reds and they have great reds, but you know, that's, that's just my opinion out of the ones that I have tried and seen so far, but they will be expanding that line. So maybe that's just how they decided to start off. But I feel like Chanel did a better job of having a better color selection in general, plus the availability. Now, another thing I wanted to note, this is a traditional doe foot and you can see how much flex there is with this. So it's got a little bit of give to it. However, I actually prefer the Suku applicator because you can see how much flex this has. It actually acts more like a lip brush on your lips. And I just find that it's a little bit more comfortable and easier to apply the products with this particular applicator over the Chanel. So it's a personal preference, but just so you know, they are a little different and that may make a difference to some, probably not a big enough difference to, you know, be a deciding factor. Now, as for longevity, I've been wearing the Suku Lip Fog and Lip Glows for several months now. They made it to my favorites of 2020 list, particularly the Lip Fog. I find that the Lip Glow doesn't last on me quite as long as the Lip Fog, and that's mostly just because the high shine factor wears off, so you'll still have like pigmented stain and so forth left on your lips after, you know, a long period of time, but that high shine finish doesn't remain as long as the finish does on the lip fogs. So the lip fog is more of a creamy matte and I feel like it stays more true to what it looks like after a fresh application than the lip glow does for a longer period of time. Both of these can be worn all day and you know they look great even when they start wearing off. If you don't want to reapply with this, add a little lip balm, you're good to go. Um, so in particular, the lip fog, I think lasts just a little bit longer on me. These, neither of these are mask proof, but you can wear them under a mask. You might get, you'll, you'll get some transfer if you have a mask pressing up against it, but all the color will not come off. They are long wearing and they perform very, very well. Now I feel like the Chanel Rouge Allure locks, they also are very long wearing, perform very well. I don't feel as though they last as long on me as the Suku Lip Fogs. They are more comparable to the Lip Glow in how they wear on me. So we are doing a wear test today so that I can record it for you and you can see how it lasts. But essentially, you know, if you aren't doing anything, no eating, no drinking, your lips are going to stay looking great, just like they were freshly applied for many hours. If you're carrying on with normal daily activities, you're having lunch and drinking water or whatever, <laughs> it, you are going to get transferred from these. And I feel like they just don't stay as fresh as long as Chanel claims. So they claim it lasts up to 12 hours and lips feel comfortable up to eight hours. And unless I'm doing absolutely nothing, I feel like those times are essentially doubled from what my experience is. So you can see now that I've had exigence on for a while, this is pretty much what the finish looks like after it kind of dries on your lips. And when I say dry, I just mean that you don't have that thicker, creamy feeling anymore. It still feels hydrated. It still feels moist. You still feel product on there, but it's not really slipping or sliding at all. It's staying put. Now, as for application, I do recommend using a lip pencil with these. And that's really because anytime you have one of these liquid formulas, if you are prone to feathering or something around your lips, you know, you will notice some. <laughs> so I recommend using a lip liner to kind of lock the color into place on your lips. And, you know, again, if feathering is not an issue for you in general, you don't have to do that, but I personally prefer it. So that would be my recommendation. And as for longevity and so forth with this, you can see that this particular finish is what it's gonna look like for quite a while with normal activities. And if I were to do nothing all day, it would last like this quite a while. <laughs> One more thing I'd like to mention about the Suku lip products. If you were to go and actually smell them, you can smell something. You know, I don't know if there's, I don't believe there's any added fragrance to it. I feel like it's the scent of the ingredients, 
but the, you know, you can smell something. It's definitely not as strong as what you have from the Chanel. And I don't find the Chanel to be strong or overpowering either. But I did want to note that I do smell a bit of the alcohol in the Chanel, but I don't really smell it with the Suku. And really the first thing I smell with Chanel is the fragrance. And then I just get a like a little hint of the alcohol scent. So just something to know if you're sensitive to that. I don't think either formula has, you know, is bothersome for me scent wise. So, you know, I'm happy with both of them. After wearing these for a couple of weeks, I have kind of decided which ones I like best. And I have to say, I do think the Suku formula is a little bit better than the Chanel. It's more pigmented, it lasts a bit longer, and I prefer the wand and applicator. So I think the Suku just wins for me a little bit. However, that does not mean that I don't love the Chanel ones because I do, and I plan on picking more of these up. As I mentioned before, I think the Chanel has a better color range. And as such, you know, there are so many shades that I'm actually interested in picking up. So I really think that, you know, both products are great to have. The sheerness of the Rouge Lure locks, you know, I think that's gonna be really nice when I'm looking for a lighter lip shade, maybe during the summer. But in general, just based on the formula, I prefer the Suku color range, I prefer the Chanel, but I think they're both great products. And if for some reason you are unable to try out the Suku ones, I think the Chanel Rouge Lure locks are a great substitute or you know not even really per se a substitute they're a great product in general and they are similar enough that you don't really need to have both formulas unless you love them as much as i do i hope this was helpful and i would love to know what you think of the rouge Lure locks if you've tried them or if you're planning on trying them again these are the four shades that i have and you know, I end up really loving all four of the shades that I have. I think 63 Ultimate is one of my favorites along with 71 Myth. And I really like how Myth can be very sheer, but if you wanna build it up a lot, you get more of that glossy metallic look. I think it's a little bit more versatile than it comes across on the website. And, you know, all four of the shades I picked up, I do really enjoy. So I would love to know your thoughts. Please leave them down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I hope to see you soon. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.